you know, science fiction writers have never proved very good at predicting stuff. I mean, there, there have been a lot of science fiction stories and novels written, and that whenever anyone starts trotting out things that science fiction writers predicted, um, any of the stuff that actually is a prediction, and I'll get to the other kind of things that science fiction writers do, anything that is a prediction, is such an infinitesimal fraction of all the things that science fiction writers actually did predict, that to say science fiction writers are good at predicting the future is like saying, well, if you threw enough darts into a football stadium full of predictions, some of them would, you know, some of them would land on, 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 on uh, predictions that turned out to come true if you had enough predictions and enough darts. It doesn't mean that you're, you're doing any good prediction, predicting. But one thing science fiction writers can do is inspire. Uh, Gene Roddenberry didn't predict the flip phone, but Motorola engineers who grew up watching Star Trek made flip phones because they watched Star Trek. That's not a prediction. That's like me saying, I predict I'm going to have steak tonight, and then going into a restaurant and ordering a steak. Um, you know, crack it, you amaze me. But, um, but being able to inspire the future is a lot cooler than being able to, to predict the future, because as you say, uh, predicting the future implies that we're running on rails towards the, the future that you predicted, whereas inspiring the future suggests that you can steer it. And I like the idea of steering. And we can steer it in a way that makes it better. I think that's the thing. And that's the, the kind of the, when, when we started, I've been sort of doing this work um, for about four or five years now. Um, talking to universities and talking to people and actually writing myself, writing science fiction based upon this. Um, and the big difference in talking to academics was the intent. And that's what I always talk to people about. There's why are you writing this? And that's one of the things that, that Corey's fiction has, and a lot of, a lot of folks have that, um, where it, the intent is not just to have a great story. And you've got to have a great story, right? You've got to have a story that's about people, right? Because all good stories are about people. All good science fiction stories are about people. Now, if you have it about real science, or you have it about possible futures, it provides a way for you to kind of prototype the idea, for you to imagine what is that human effect of that science, or that technology, or that policy. What is the cultural effect? What is that implication? So that's one of the things I think that I've been very passionate about when, as we've been working on this project together, is what is the intent? You know, the intent being to not only envision the future, but envision a future that, for myself, that we can build. But not only do that, envision a future that we can build and then make it better. 